Hi everybody, it's Jen Sheffer. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be showing you an additional host control that's available to you in a Google Meet that I think you will find really beneficial. Um, you can access host controls in two different areas. Uh, the first is the three dots at the bottom right hand corner. If you click on that and you go to settings, the very last choice on that menu, you'll notice um, the settings options appear. There's a new one here that says noise cancellation. It will filter out sound that isn't speech. So you could test that out, turn it on and see if that works for you. Um, but I wanted to show you today in host controls here, when we go here by default, this quick access is going to be turned on. I've turned it off uh, for the purpose of this training, but I just wanted to explain when you turn this off, which I would recommend you do, your students will not be able to join the Google Meet without you being present first. So even if you continue to use your Google Meet codes, which I encourage you to do, uh, the student will put in their code and then you as the host of the meeting will get a notification that the student wants to join and you will admit the student. So this has been an added safety measure to make sure that students cannot join a meeting without you being present. So again, you simply go to host controls, turn this off and admit the students. So you don't have to change your meet code and you can have the confidence that your students will not be in that Google meet without you being there first. Um, so real quick, another way you can access host controls is right here on the show everyone icon. When you click on that, you'll see host controls is also in this area. You have the ability to turn off students being able to share their screen. You can also turn off students being able to chat. That might be necessary. It, it will depend on um, your preferences and um, how your students are conducting themselves during your Google Meets. But again, you can just click on here, view all host settings, and you'll see that quick access is there. Um, so at the end of the Google Meet, you will hang up last um, and making sure that you actually click on the leave call button at the bottom versus just simply clicking on the X to close out the Chrome tab. You definitely need to hang up the call first uh, so the students cannot access that Google Meet code any longer. Um, so I hope this was helpful. This additional host control um, should give you peace of mind that your students are not in the meet before you um, and they will not be in the meet after you. Um, you have total control over that. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me or any member of the BPS EdTech team. We're here to help you. I appreciate you watching and I will see you soon.